Some may say that Rand Paul uh, has an outside shot of the presidency, only an outside shot. And to those naysayers, Rand Paul would like you to hear from someone who's pretty high on his prospects. A voter from Kentucky describing his run for the Senate, a voter named Kelly Ashby Paul. She is a slight relation. His first line of attack was telling me, you know, everyone says that I have a less than 10 percent chance of winning the primary. <laughs> but I had heard him speak that night in Fountain Square Park, and I knew with the sudden certainty and clarity that sometimes you have in life, I just knew. I looked him in the eye and I said, no, if you do this, you're going to win. I know it. After that impressive performance by Kelly Paul, after President, uh, Senator Paul's speech, I caught up with him in a kind of a chaotic scrum after the event, and I asked him how he rated his wife's performance. Senator, how do you think Mrs. Sure, Paul did in her speech? Oh, she did great. I'm afraid uh, she might be better than I am. Did, you, did she practice a lot? You know? Did she practice a lot? I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> Were you able to watch her speech or just Wait, listen to it? I did. I, I listened to it. What do you expect her to do to help you win? Uh, hopefully more of the same. So he's expecting more of the same, including she's launching a book tour in the coming days, John, as uh, someone who's going to have a very high profile compared to some of these other spouses of 16 or so. My question to you is, is Kelly Paul a secret weapon or the secret weapon for Rand Paul going forward? Well, she's not a secret anymore after watching her today. I think a lot of people, uh, this will be the first time a lot of people saw her in the, in, in the country, in the party. Um, she was a big, she played a big role in his Senate campaign, uh, doing a lot of videos and things for him. She was very poised today. People seeing her on that stage today who, who understand how important and how big an asset and a, a really uh, a, a really solid spouse can be will look at her and say, she will look, looks right now, at least, like way more of an asset than a liability or, or, a, or, or a null set, as it were. Yeah, with the exception of William Jefferson Clinton, I'm not sure there's another spouse involved in this contest who can give a speech like she gave today. It was, it was not super poised. If he's the Republican nominee, she's going to have to step up her game at the convention. But for an announcement, it was strong, and he needs more than anything else someone who loves him, who will testify to the country about what a big heart he has, because he's not particularly good at showing his heart. She today testified for him. Very powerful, and you'll see a lot more of that, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, and I think, you know, don't be too tough on her. I mean, I, I'd say that if she gave that, with that level of poise, if that was a convention speech, I'd say it wasn't very poised. For a woman making her debut on the national stage, first time she's ever been watched probably by more than 50 or 60 or 200 people, um, she was very poised, I thought, uh, given it, uh, their debut nature of it. 100%. 100%. All, all, I, all I meant was she's not a Michelle Obama level well, yet, but yeah, she was not, very yeah, strong yeah. today. And the Paul... And the Paul people were over the moon about it. It'd be pretty amazing if she was a Michelle so. Obama level already. All right.